Good morning, how you doing? It is Sunday morning. I was just recording a little audio update and sending that over to Dale before she wakes up. We send little, either we do little diary entries and put them on an immutable blog, which is like a blockchain blog, a bit different from a centralized blog because it's not just on one website, it's uh, on a chain and that chain is synced across lots of computers across the world. So it's kind of immutable in the fact that even if a front end gets taken down, you've still got access to it. Uh, that's the big difference, I guess, between just uh, your own website, which is centralized on one server. Uh, or we send audio to each other. So one of my favorite apps to do that is Audio Hijack. And this morning, as I was recording my little audio to send across, it's dead simple, just two blocks, the mic input and a recorder. Uh, this is this is why I really like Audio Hijack because it's easy. You've got sources, outputs, built-in effects. But this morning when I did an update, I noticed that they've done a new box for live streaming. Now, I know that you could do broadcast to an online radio server before. And if you drop that in there and then look at the options, you can put in a bunch of like presets and metadata and set it up to send it to Shoutcast 1, 2, or Icecast. This is very old technology. I mean, it's rock solid and stable. Uh, one of my favorite online uh, radio stations, Soma FM uses Shoutcast. Uh, been around for ages, staple of live streaming audio tracks, but I don't really want to maintain a Shoutcast server. And it's kind of feels very web 2.0. Uh, that's not to say it's not good. It's just uh, older technology. So I was surprised this morning when I saw underneath live stream, stream audio to an RTMP server. Now, what makes this super cool is that things like Twitch, things like uh, for blockchain, there's Vim, those operate on an RTMP server. So you can stream into that server and then other people can watch it from the website. So if I double click on this live stream, we have all of this new stuff. I had no idea that they were going to bring this out, which is amazing. There's a, an ability to send like a video stream and you can add a logo. There's a visualization. Um, you can select what source you're going to use. You put in your URL and your key here. You can put what quality you want to send. It's freaking cool. Um, so I'm going to play around with this today and I'm going to try and stream into um, maybe either YouTube or even Vim or maybe even Restream. I've been trying to find a way low-fi, if you like, to do live streaming or to do li little different bits of media. And uh, the fact that I can now do this as a block inside of Audio Hijack is awesome. I love Rogue Amiga's software. They make some of the best software. I was a bit worried when they sold the company to another owner, but that new owner has just run with it, and they make some incredible products. If you haven't got it yet, you should definitely um, jump over to rogueamiga.com and check out their stuff. I think they make some of the best Mac apps in the world. Now they've added live streaming, I'm stoked to play with that today. All right, I will catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye.